it seems to me that a lot of people are jumping on Facebook ads because that's what their competition is doing. Even though Facebook doesn't really fit the type of messaging they're looking to put out there. So I'm seeing a lot of people losing money from running Facebook ads and getting frustrated why their Facebook ads are not converting. Well, here are three things you need to avoid when running Facebook ads. The number one thing to avoid is running ads on Facebook to people who don't know you. The best strategy to use when you're running Facebook ads is to remarket to people who already know you, who've heard about you, and preferably your email list. I'll tell you why. Because people who don't know you don't care who you are and don't care what you have to sell. The way to look at Facebook, it's kind of like a private party. By you targeting to people who don't know you, have never heard of you, it's kind of like crashing a party. Nobody's going to talk to you, nobody's going to engage with you. And most importantly, they're going to know you crashed the party. So if you don't use Facebook as a remarketing tool, you will lose money. There's a high probability you're going to lose money. And I see this every single day. People losing money and becoming despondent. Don't be despondent. I'm telling you this so you don't become despondent. Second mistake that I see a lot of people doing when it comes to running Facebook ads is they're expecting a sale on the first contact. Oh boy. Uh, I see a lot of this happening. Um, Gary V would call that a right hook before a jab jab. Unfortunately, a lot of people are losing money when running Facebook ads this way. They expect the first impression to convert. That almost never happens. Again, you have to understand, people behave the same online as they do in the physical world. So once you understand human psychology and how people act and how people behave, you're going to win. Let me explain a little further what I mean by this. You cannot expect to get married on the first date. You have to look at the first impression as that first date. There's a good chance that it's not going to convert. Maybe after the third or fourth impression, that's when you're going to convert. But only from people who've heard about you first. So you don't lose money. Don't lose money. Understand that you don't avoid the first mistake and you expect to sale on the first impression, you will lose money. That's a guarantee. That's a recipe for disaster, and I see this every day. The third recipe for disaster you should definitely avoid is running boring creative or creative that doesn't put out the right messaging that works for that particular impression. Let me explain what I mean. If you're going in there with the first impression to get people to buy your stuff, People don't care. You have to understand, customers and audiences care about themselves first. And as soon as you understand that, you'll be just fine. Understand that people don't care about you. So you have to care about them before they commit to buying whatever you're selling. If you're remarketing to your email list of people who signed up for your service, but they just haven't upgraded, who just haven't paid for your service, your messaging could be somewhere along the lines of, do you have questions about our pricing? That's a much better message to use for retargeting as opposed to, hey, pay for our service. It's a different tone to that. So you need to take consideration of that as well. It's kind of like, again, going on a second date and asking the girl to marry you. It just doesn't work. You had to go in there and get assurance that she still likes you, that she likes your personality. Your personality being an analogy for your pricing. Maybe you could share your link to your frequently asked questions page to address these hesitations that these customers might have. Simply running static, creative is boring. It doesn't convert as well as video. So you want to consider video creative as much as possible. Come up with a video creative that's engaging, that addresses the type of impression that you're reaching at that particular point. There you have it. Three things to avoid when running Facebook ads. If you got some value from this video and you're looking for ways to execute your Facebook strategy, run Facebook ads, I have an offer for you. I'll give you up to 30 minutes worth of free consultation where we can talk about where you're going wrong with your Facebook ads and how to get those conversions up. In this video, I put a link. That's going to allow for you to book a time and date that works for you and consider that confirmed on my end. I'll talk to you soon.